what is Infinity Nation? <sighs> Infinity Nation is an accumulation of everything I needed when I was falling off a cliff. Right. If you are exiting any kind of um, dangerous space and you feel like you are just watching your life go by and you're just barely hanging on, you don't know what to do. Like Infinity Nation is designed to help us build a community that recognizes and accepts and supports each other in the same conversation of, of honestly, honestly, of knowing that we are infinite in possibility. We are infinite in possibility as humans. That's what Infinity Nation is. There's going to be some slides that are going to come up and, uh, you know, read a little bit more about it, um, the details, but really Infinity Nation was designed to be the tool that I needed when I first started trying to break free of an unhealthy, unsafe generational trauma uh, that was my life and that my children and I were caught up in and we didn't know how to escape. They're kids. It's not their problem, right? They're, that is not for them to fix. It's for us to fix as the adults. And everything that we fix, the energy that we heal in us puts those ripples back out into all of the people around us, including our children. So I am very proud of Infinity Nation, and I, I hope, I hope that you find the tools, the tips, the tricks, the support, the community, the seeds to know that you are infinite in possibility when you show up for you, when you get real with you. Okay, no shame, no blame. I loved that from when I used to be on the school board, the superintendent, when I came in to public service. Uh, she always said that, no shame, no blame. And it's such a beautiful statement that allows everybody to put all the cards on the table, get real, and just start learning and seeing what's going to work and what isn't going to work and how we move forward. And that's what healing is like because it's so unique for everybody. No matter what happened to you in your past, no shame, no blame. No shame, no blame. How do we work with what we have right now? And Infinity Nation is one tool in your tool bucket to help you go in any direction that you need to go. You will constantly hear me talking about anchors and supports, trusted anchors and supports. It is so important that you learn to normalize what it feels like within you to be in a trusting space. Therapy can help you do that. Coaches can help you do that. Mentoring can help you do that. If you call out to a um, support line, right, you dial. The first time I dialed the phone number for the domestic abuse hotline, I could not breathe. I kid you not. I could not breathe. Like I can feel it right here. Right, yeah, I can feel it right now. I can feel, ooh, I can't. Like I can, I can feel how I felt that day four or five years ago, maybe five years ago. And to clarify, I wasn't being hit. Abuse is not only physical. It's a societal thing we'll have to battle on another day. <laughs> but the reality is I know how hard it is to reach out for help. And so Infinity Nation is here to help bridge that gap. You will hear me talk about creating safe spaces, trusted anchors all the time. And an anchor, Infinity Nation is a great anchor. It is there to provide tools, support, and community. Um, and I do coaching, individual coaching as well. But that's just one part of a healing journey. One part. Another part is making that call to a hotline. If you have alcohol problems, gambling problems, abuse problems, if you have um, childhood uh, problems happening in your home, or maybe you need supports and you're embarrassed to reach out and ask for help from the, um, I don't, what would it be called? Like a um, government support, right? Maybe you need somebody to help bridge the gap while you work on uh, education or income. There are so many tools out there 
but we have to be courageous and confident in self to ask for those supports and to reach out and get the help that we need and deserve. And Infinity Nation is the community designed to help create a nation where we know that we are infinite in possibility. Welcome. I hope you stick around and stay. And I hope you share this with somebody who needs to hear that there is possibility outside of the life they're trying to run away from, right? Escapes are all around us. Gambling, if we're gambling, if we're drinking too much, if we're overeating, right? I have a little extra love handle there that I need to, to work on. I spent a whole year down with a severe concussion, a life altering concussion. I had to learn to drive again. I couldn't speak a full sentence a year ago. So, you know, the fact that I have a little 10 pounds, 12, I don't care. I don't care. That is something I am aware of, I'm comfortable with, and I'm giving myself love and time to change that because I was overcoming something massive. And so that what we need to realize is that when we are having to be faced with escaping our reality, it's because our reality is too overwhelming to deal with. But we have options. We have options. Those options lay within us. They lay within us. Put your hand over your heart. I'm like, which side is my heart on? <laughs> Because everything's reversed on the camera. I know, I'm such a dork. <laughs> you stick around, you'll see what a dork I am. And I'm okay with it. The point is everything, like the universe is truly within you. But you have to learn the basic skills to honor you, like boundaries, affirmations, self-care, self-respect. You have to learn these very basics to get in touch with your core values so that you can begin to exude a life that is out of survival mode, that is out of our escapisms. Like when I found out I had a life altering concussion, I won't even go into all the stressors that were happening in my life at that time. But needless to say, my PTSD went from kind of maintained, right, to full on active. I was it, it, like my subconscious just went into she's under attack. Well, I was under attack by my own body in that way from the injury and the concussion. But at the end of the day, I didn't have a dinosaur chasing me or anything. You know, I wasn't actually going to get like drug under, uh, you know, a lake of mud. I don't know where I'm going with that analogy, but I think you get the point, right? When my PTSD activated, I went into absolute survival mode. I had lost the ability to have my thoughts and my basic functions mesh, like be together. That was horrible. That was horrible. But I reached out. I had enough tools in my bucket already that I reached out for supports. I got myself into therapy. I got myself to the right doctors. I got myself to neurophysical therapists, neuro speech therapists, neuro on and on and on, right? Multitude of therapies, including chiropractic because of the actual injury. My point is, is it's no different. It is no different. No matter what we're facing in our life, we have to prioritize our own care. Infinity Nation is a tool to help you do just that. Thanks for showing up.